Hey everyone, my name is Misty Gunn on Instagram, Teachers Pay Teachers, and MistyGunn.com. Today's video is a quick video to explain three ways for you to teach overseas. Now this is more so for American teachers who are trying to go to other countries, but if you are aware of different ways for other countries or teachers in other places to come to America or other places to teach, feel free to drop it in the comment section. Let's get straight into it. The first way that I recommend is looking at the country that you're wanting to move to and then looking at their educational website. See what qualifications they're asking for. For example, here in England, a lot of times um, you need to have not just your four years of education, but you also need to have one year of teaching. And that kind of is like um, in the States, it's our internship, but for them, they get paid a certain rate during that first year of teaching and then I think they get bumped up. Um, if I'm incorrect, please let me know in the chat box, but from what I've heard from other UK teachers, that's how it goes. So looking into the qualifications, seeing if that aligns with what you're qualified for currently, or just working towards getting those qualifications before you come to the country, um, and then applying. When you apply, I recommend that you stay with your job that you currently have, but let them know what plans and intentions you have to leave the country because they could actually help you out with those connections to where you need to be and possibly let them know, you know, your years of experience equate to whatever qualifications that they might be saying that you need, your host country is saying that you need. So this is the TEAS website, um, which is very similar to Indeed, but for schools and teachers specifically here in the UK. And it is a very resourceful site if you are looking for any career in education. So you can just scroll through. The website has a lot of info. It tells you how many schools and teachers they've connected with one another. Um, and then it has this very simple interface where you can just click if you're looking for teacher specific things. You can register or you can just scroll down and click the search jobs option to find different teaching positions that are available. Once you do that, you'll be taken to a page where it shows like it allows you to search by location, search by the job type. Um, and it's very important for you to know that these job types are not the same as the US. So for example, a head teacher is considered a principal. So you really need to know what these different terms mean before you go in and start applying. So nursery is kind of like elementary, primary is high school, and then secondary I think is middle school. But it also shows like the flexibility and subject. So we're going to click nursery because I know that kindergarten is considered nursery. Um, as you scroll down, you'll see all the current positions that are available. And we're going to click this kindergarten position. Once you click the kindergarten position or whatever position you like, it's very important that you read the information that's provided. Like this one shows responsibilities. It shows you what the grade actually entails and what is considered um, in their school, the work hours and schedules, and the compensation and benefits, which is the best part. <laughs> so you can see how much you would be making at this school in this position. Um, from there, you can keep scrolling. You should see the requirements. And this is the essential part. So you can know if your current credentials are equivalent to what the school is requiring or if you need to get more um, and if you can just apply. Now, route number two is kind of out of the norm, but it's okay. Leaving the United States will open your eyes to different things. Every culture does things differently, and so education should not be any different. So the second route is to find someone who wants an English teacher. Now, this isn't necessarily someone who's going to teach ELA like what we're used to. This is someone who is just going to speak English to the children that they know and immerse the children in the English language because we all know that English is kind of considered one of the dominant languages across the world. Everybody uses English as a dominant language. So one of my good friends from college, she ended up doing this and she kind of encouraged me to, inspired me to want to leave the States and start exploring other places. Um, I'll link her channel here and I'll link her video in the description box so you can watch and hear from her 
what exactly her process was like and um, the deal that she had with the person who sponsored her. Now, I do recommend um, knowing who you're trying to work for, the type of country that you're wanting to live in. Once you know that and you find a good person to be a good sponsor um, or a school district that can be a good sponsor, lay out everything that you're wanting, but also be flexible, okay? Because there's times where, like I said earlier, cultures are different and it's okay. The reason why you're wanting to go to other countries should be to be immersed in their culture, but it's okay to want to keep a little bit of your culture as well. So when you're picking countries, just be careful. The third route to teaching overseas is actually a hidden gem. A lot of people don't know about this, but you can work for the United States Department of Education activity, and you can work in different countries across the world. These are children who are military and military connected children. So you are actually getting the opportunity to help service members by servicing their child. And I think this is the best and the most awesome way to do this if you love your country um, and you do believe in service to your country, but you are unable to join the military, however, or whatever your circumstances are. And also because I don't really think the military has teaching jobs. <laughs> this is the closest we're going to get to it. But it is really cool because there are so many bases across the world. As we know, our military has a presence everywhere and those people have children. <laughs> Their children have the option to either go into local schools, but they also have the option to still be taught by American teachers um, and you get to service them right on a military base or in a local area. That is really good for someone who is, you know, kind of afraid to go straight into a different culture and they kind of want that, that rope of safety to the United States still, but they want to still get immersed in a different culture. Um, I think that's a phenomenal route to take. So this is the DODEA website or Department of Defense Education Activity website. Um, it's a very simple interface. It's very important that you read through the requirements though because you will be going to different countries. As you can see, they're promoting Guantanamo Bay here. So um, reading through those different the grade level descriptions and once you have a good understanding of that, then click apply now and it'll take you to a whole nother website for you to input your information. So once you get there, very simple, click begin and make sure you have all your documents that you need to apply. Um, if you have to pause at any point, then you can always log back in by creating an account with them. I think it automatically creates you an account, but it's really important to know that you do not know your salary because your salary will be based on the country that you're sent to. So um, yeah, be be knowledgeable on where you're trying to go and what the salary could possibly be in that location. I hope these three ways and routes helped you with determining how you can possibly leave the States and teach overseas. If you know of how you can leave any other countries and come to the States or other foreign countries to teach, then please feel free to share it below in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching and remember to subscribe and like this video.